There was a time when I didn't have this setup. There was a time when I didn't have the latest MacBook. And there was a time when my affiliate sites made no money. Literally none. But one thing I've always had is a good work ethic and a positive outlook. Starting at the beginning can feel overwhelming, but if I had to start all over again without knowing what I know now and without having the assets that I've built up over the last five or six years, then this video is what I'd like to tell myself so that I know what to do so I can waste less time and have the greatest opportunity for success. So I'm gonna share this with you too. Let's take a look. I'm going to assume in this video that you're looking to replace your full-time income with a niche website or multiple niche websites, affiliate marketing, whatever you wanna call it. Now, the problem that you have is that your full-time job is going to take up a huge amount of your time. So the quicker we can take away that time suck, the better. And the way that I would approach this is to start a side hustle as quickly as possible. So in addition to starting work on your affiliate website, I would suggest that you find a side hustle in something that you're skilled at or have a natural, a natural flair for and monetize that as quickly as possible. Now, yes, this is going to be an additional time suck to begin with, but the idea is that that will help to supplement your income and get you to that point where you can leave full-time employment as quickly as possible, or at least move down to part-time. Now, for me, when I did this, I started out with design gigs, content writing, and then moved into SEO freelancing when I became more skilled at that. The key thing is here that you do need to be able to deliver on this service. You can find these gigs through places like Fiverr, Upwork, or even outreach to, to local businesses yourself. But one of the benefits to doing this is a lot of these skills that you're offering or these services that you're offering are going to be beneficial for you in the long term. So to hone these skills and make money for them, they're going to be transferable skills that you can use on your affiliate websites. Now, as a follow on from that, you can also offer retainer services. So like I mentioned, one of the first things that I did when I made the transition from full time to working for myself full-time was to offer SEO services. Now, it could be SEO, it could be website design, it could be content, but if you can get them on a retainer service where they essentially are paying you each month for that particular service, then that is going to make your finances a little bit more secure because you know that you've got that money coming in each and every month. The next thing I would tell myself is that affiliate marketing is a long game. It's not something that is going to take off overnight. So this is more about motivation and mindset because quite often people will think, okay, this is a get rich quick. I can do this in three, six, nine months. The chances are for you to be able to replace a full-time income, it's going to take at least 18 months, possibly two years, maybe longer than that. But having that in your head from the beginning is going to help you stay motivated, stay focused, and put the work in that is required to get to that point. Now with this next one, please don't unsubscribe, but you might want to, because this is about finding one or two sources of information for your SEO and your process to approaching affiliate websites and your niche site. There's so much information out there on the internet and on YouTube. A lot of it is very, very good, but also a lot of it is not so good. Now, even with some of the, the information that is good, it can be conflicting. There are many different processes and a number of different methods that you can follow to get to the same outcome. But if you're taking little bits of information from here and little bits from there, at the beginning, that might be confusing. So I'd say choose one or two sources, try and stick to their processes, their methods, rather than 
taking bits from all over the place. Once you become more proficient and you've got more knowledge and you're able to identify the bits that will work in synergy with each other, then by all means expand out and take on information from a number of different sources because you're going to be better placed to take all the best bits of everything and put them together. Next up is just a reminder to myself that you do need to sleep and you also need to spend time with your friends and family. I know mental health is a big topic right now but and probably when I started this process it wasn't as much of a, of a talked about issue and Although I'm not saying I suffered massively with mental health, I definitely neglected at times the need for good sleep and I probably did miss out on you know, being present for some moments with the family and, and missing out on social occasions and, and so on. Now I'm not saying you need to do the complete opposite and, and dedicate no time to, you, to your project, of course you do, but it is important that you do get that sleep, that you do look after your health, and that you do spend time with your friends and family. This next one is really important and it's focusing on one project at a time. What I mean by this is focusing on one of your own personal affiliate sites at a time. Like I said, you might have taken on some, some client work, some freelance work. You're also potentially still gonna have your full-time job. You're still gonna have to spend time with the friends and family. You're also gonna need time for yourself. If you take on multiple projects, your time is going to be split even more so. And in my experience at least, trying to take on too many sites before you've mastered one is more of a hindrance than a help. My advice on this would be get your first site to a point where it is profitable and it can look after itself or you can put processes in place to, to manage it or once you've given it a good amount of time, 18 months, two years, and it's not quite clicking, it's not working for whatever reason, then make the decision to move on to something else. Don't spend three months working on one site, then switch to another site, and then bring in another site. It's just gonna become so overwhelming and it's gonna dilute those chances of success for you. We talk a lot about consistency, and this is my next tip, is to try and remain as consistent as possible. However, you also need to be realistic in that. If you are still in that full-time job, then how much time physically and while still remaining healthy can you commit to a project? There's no point in burning yourself out by creating 10 articles a week for three months and then all of a sudden burning out and doing nothing. The next thing that I would tell myself is that you want to really genuinely give value to your audience. You're not trying to scam people. You're not trying to you know, uh, put out offers that are not good you know we've all seen the clickbank affiliate type programs and there are some good programs on there but there's also some dreadful ones and in good conscience can you promote an affiliate program and really believe that that is giving value to that audience that you're creating it's going to help you in the long run it's going to make you create better content and it's going to potentially make that audience come back time and time again. Next is that we want to focus on one niche or topic at a time. So this isn't quite the same as just focusing on one website. This is having one website where that website we focus on one particular topic. So let's say you've got a site that's quite open-ended, so outdoors for example, you would want to choose one topic within that broader category to focus on to begin with. So let's say you were focusing on hunting. So you would, I would tell myself, right, we're gonna create the content for hunting, we're gonna build that section out, we're gonna create some really good topical authority, we're gonna make sure that Google is very clear that the website is to do with hunting, and then once we get that authority and we've got the traffic and we've got everything else, 
the, the, the sales, the money coming in, then we can start to build out the other sections and we would move on to a second section and then maybe a third section and build it up that way. And finally, we would look to keep costs to a minimum. Yes, there are going to be costs. Some of them are unavoidable, but others are avoidable. So we're going to make the most of the free tools that are out there that we can to begin with. We might get some cheap paid tools such as Keyword Chef for keyword research, but on the whole, we're going to keep costs to a minimum. Now, if you want to see what my SEO toolbox looks like, make sure you watch this video next where I share all of my SEO tools and I show you whether they're good for beginners, intermediates or advanced. A lot of them are free and they will help you on your journey. Guys, thanks for watching and good luck with your projects.